Hey, Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host, Shazeb, signing in. We're back with another video, guys. And in this video, we're going to be exploring that whether Jasmine is the Bitcoin of Japan. We're going to be looking at what Jasmine is all about. So it's going to be an interesting video. Do watch till the end. And folks, for those of you who are new to the channel, we primarily discuss utility coins. You guys can see which coins we usually discuss. We discuss these as well as other potential gems. If you're interested, then do hit the notification bell and subscribe for regular videos, guys. Now, let's begin first and foremost with the price of Jasmine coin. So basically, one Jasmine is priced at around $0.006423 at the time of the recording. Market cap is around $316.66 million. And uh, almost all the supply is in circulation, guys. $49.3 billion in, is in circulation. Max supply is $50 billion, just me. Total supply, $50 billion, 98.60 in circulation. Fully diluted market cap, three, uh, $321.25 million. Guys, check this out. Uh, it is on the move up to test these resistance areas over here at around $0.0073. Guys, if it breaks that, then double, uh, one cent is basically the target from there, and it's going to be going up from there. Guys, check this out. Uh, the, the price has fallen tremendously, but look at the all time high. It is uh, almost uh, 3.4, but uh, to be f fair, uh i read somewhere that the circulation was extra, much lower than uh, than now the supply sorry the supply was much lower than now so basically they increased the supply to facilitate what they're doing in the internet of things uh, sector so they needed more coins to function as far as i've read and i also saw some community tweets as well regarding this so uh, guys, this is the chart, and if you look at it, has almost, uh, in my opinion, reached the bottom 99.48% uh, down since the all time high. So, why would someone invest in a chart like this, guys? Why would someone do that? Let me show you something. Uh, guys, first and foremost, uh, Jasmine has a, po uh, a lot of skeptics and a very ardent and enthusiastic passionate uh, supporters as well so let me tell you first that uh, the support why the supporters are bullish guys this is the just me website this is japanese but i translated it into uh, it into english so what is just me all about guys basically just me is a, a internet of things platform that aims for a better society with safety and security that, that's their motto but in a nutshell, what they aim to do is they want to democratize data, guys. Data is going to be a uh, something that you are going to be owning in the future. And Jasmine is in the front runner. Uh, there are other projects as well, like IOTA. I've discussed ISO 2022 compliant as well. That would be huge in the I, uh, Internet of uh, uh, Things uh, sector. What uh, Jasmine aims to do is uh, it it aims to democratize that data. Up till now, what happens is that the companies uh, have your data and they uh, sell your data without having a, you having a share in it, guys. So that I think that's unfair. Obviously, you might have seen a Social Dilemma as well. Uh, the, it's a documentary. Uh, they showed how there is no privacy anymore. I mean, your private data with your consent. The best the companies do is that they take your consent. Check this out. Uh, <laughs> like this one at the website of Just Me Incorporated. We utilize cookie data. So data, data is everywhere. So you agree and your data is shared. Uh, I, I mean, it is a bit ironic that what they aim to do, but <laughs> not talking about the cookie, but obviously... Data is uh, being used everywhere. Data is the new oil. So, Jasmine wants to democratize data and give you to give consumers their data, what they want to share, what they do not want to share, and you might even earn. Obviously, not might, but you will earn by the data that you give and provide uh, to the companies and uh, in the, in the entire ecosystem that they they're planning to create. So what will change? Data democratization puts data sovereignty in the hands of consumers. Internet of uh, Things times blockchain data democracy is 
all of these things come together to democratize data. This is the big force, the industrial revolution. AI has been called that. Yeah, check this out. From this wave, big wave, new goods and services such as sharing economies like car dispatch services, automatic driving, and robotics industry using AI as well as check out free unmanned convenience stores are born. So basically, the entire economy is shifting, guys. So up until this point, your information is monopolized, if that is even a term. Many of uh, today's network services are provided by giant platforms such as GAFA, Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon. In return for using the service for free, we pass personal data such as behavior history. So guys, there are no free lunches in life. Whatever, you're, whatever you use for free, remember that you are the product. Remember this. Who owns our data? However, there have been numerous incidents in which data that we believe should be managed safely is quite easily leaked due to cyber attack, system defects, and human mistakes. The company that has your data, I mean, they are prone to attacks as well. They are vulnerable to attacks, cyber attacks as well, obviously. So what... Uh, uh, Jasmine aims to do is it make it wants to make uh, your data secure. It wants to give back the data into your hand, and it wants to uh, basically take your uh, approval, a complete approval, which data you need to pro you want to provide or not, and how much you can earn by using that uh, providing that data. Let me uh, give you a simple example. I mean, uh, it is a bit complex complex for a few people to understand. I mean. Uh, the daily chores that you do, I mean, the Internet of Things that you use uh, on a daily basis, you might earn by using a refrigerator of a certain company. I mean, that, that sort of thing. Internet of Things would be huge. Everything would be managed. Your devices would have Internet connected. And uh, this is this would, would all be inter integrated. And you are have would have the opportunity to earn, basically. And provide whatever you want. The Jasmine Internet of Things platform will be developed based on this idea, based on a solid relationship of trust between companies and customers on the platform. We will create an environment where data can be exchanged securely as valuables and build a new era of information, a new era of user-oriented information. We are confident that we will create a new Internet of Things business model together with you on this platform and help Japan lead the world again in this new era of information, guys. So how will it change? This is their basically uh, the, the, how the platform is going to be utilized. Solution, Internet of Things platform, module, they're going to be having their app, analysis, uh, IoT strategy and management support. In ad adopting Internet of Things, first of all, we believe it necessarily to support our customers' business strategy and solve management issues. Internet of Things platform by using our own idea and the latest blockchain technology. Jasmine provides an IoT platform that can securely and efficiently manage data sent from IoT devices. Providing IoT devices, IoT de requires an Internet, uh, Internet of Things device that ha has functions such as sending and receiving detected and measured data in conjunction with sensors, as well as sending and receiving commands for remote control. So they would uh, have an entire Internet of Things ecosystem and, and infrastructure built, providing a development environment for IoT services. Jasmine will provide the services to client companies and with various business areas, and it's going to be connected, connecting these companies with the customers and the use at the data ethically, basically. Providing a secure data analysis environment, Jasmine will contribute to creation of new evaluated services by creating an environment in which client companies can analyze and utilize the data measured by IoT. So what two core services it is going to be providing, they, are, they call it Secure Knowledge Communicator, SKG, and Smart Guardian, SG. So what they are basically, SKG, SKC, sorry, is a core service of Jasme, Jasme uh, Internet of Things platform that can safely and centrally manage various data that belongs to individuals and is generated from daily life, like I told you guys, based on the basic idea of democratization of data. Until now, with permission of the individuals, a lot of information about themselves are provided to the each company and managed in each company's database. Jasme has the opposite idea from the traditional idea, guys. And it has built a mechanism to manage the data belonging to an individual as his own. Basically, you own your own data. There are three main functions. 
One is personal authentication and registration. You know your customer that allows you to easily start using blockchain provided by Jesme. The second is a function for the distributed management and accumulation of your own data securely on your smartphone. So basically, you're going to be accumulating your accumulating your own data on your smartphone and in the blockchain, guys. Finally, there is a function that allows users to freely give and receive their own data and trace it. So basically, by providing this data, data is going to be giving you rewards you might earn if you have value, if your data would have value, I mean you would earn earn it guys you would earn uh, various rewards and other things this is a rather unique approach guys world has changed it is changing at a tremendous pace i remember it took decades to change now it takes months to change uh, tremendously the world's changing tremendously guys sg is another core service of the jasmine internet of things platform by using sg internet of things devices can be easily and securely registered in the original blockchain network and at the same time, an environment that can be accessed only accessed by all by the owning users. So the owning user, basically the consumer, is empowered. He would have data on in, in his head. So basically, what we like to call liberation, freedom. So data, you would have that liberation of data with uh, Jasmi and its protocol, its uh, platform. Why is it important? An era where data becomes a personal asset. So basically, data would be used as an asset. You can use it. You can. Uh, you might even uh, exchange it, guys. New data economy brought about by the Jasmine Internet of Things platform. Currently, a lot of more information about users is provided to each service service providing company and managing its database. So yeah, like I told you guys, Jasmine is creating uh, that value. JustMe initiative was established by companies who want to take the lead in utilizing the JustMe Internet of Things platform and expanding and enlightening the user-oriented democratic data utilization activities such as design, proof of concept, demonstration, experiment, and information exchange to realize useful business on the platform are scheduled to start in April 2019. So it was it began in 2018, I think. And guys, they plan to integrate various companies, various uh, uh, the leaders in, in, in enterprises to fully take uh, advantage of their platform, guys. So up till this point, we know we've realized what Jasme is all about. There are a lot of projects, guys, that, that claim that they are revolutionizing uh, the industry. The concept is awesome. It is noble, what it, is, it aims to do, data democracy and uh, whatnot. A revolutionary concept but guys uh, do they have the team do they have the legitimacy to do that to explore that guys because the community and the supporters are extremely uh, passionate guys uh, others who are skeptic are saying this is merely an idea a concept that won't come into fruition it is difficult to uh, execute basically but uh, the team has the credibility i think to do that in my opinion because from what i've seen in their website and elsewhere i'm going to be showing you they have a uh, good uh, team members guys some uh, advanced some uh, some experienced individuals so there's this is their company name jasmine incorporated President and CEO uh, Kazumasa Sato in their location is in Tokyo, established 2016, providing platforms and solutions for Internet of Things. Major Bank, check this out, Sumitomo, Mitsui Bank Corporation, Shibuya Branch. So this is their location that they have, they have provided, guys, check this out. So just Mickey Persons, uh, let me show you guys. Some ex-Sony members are involved in it, guys, and they've got links with Sony and these huge companies. I read somewhere that they are uh, they have partnership with Panasonic and uh, these huge companies, guys. So th this is Konetake Ando, the representative director for former president and COO of Sony Corporation, guys. President of CO president and COO of U.S. Sony Engineering and Manufacturing of America, chairman of Sony Financial Holdings, chairman of Sony Life Insurance, guys. Check this out. Assumed office as CEO of uh, Jasmine in April 2016. Correct. Currently director of the Japan Innovation Network and chairman of the University of Nagano. Former CEO and of SonyStyle.com, Japan Inc., Operating Officer of Sony Marketing Japan Inc., and President of Sony Style Company. You guys know how huge Sony is, guys. So this is Kazuma Sasato, the President. This is the CFO, Hiroshi Harada. 
after passing the JICPA examination in 20, 2008, joined KPMG uh, AZSA LLP. <laughs> he has been engaged in statutory auditing for listed companies across industries, including broadcasting, construction and manufacturing, as well as IPO support services with which his clients successfully went public, guys. So they've got a really good team. Check this out to execute this idea. Uh, the, uh, it is not merely idealism. They want it to, to execute it uh, as well. And one more thing, guys. I remember that Jasmi is one of the most regulated uh, currencies and uh, cryptocurrencies in Japan. Uh, check this out. Is uh, Jasmi Coin regulated? Jasmi is the first legally compliant Japanese cryptocurrency and is listed on the Japanese cryptocurrency exchange as well. Jasmi adheres to all Japanese crypto regulations, which are some of the strictest in the world. So this is what the community boasts about that this is regulated. Uh, yeah, uh, what is Jasmi Coin? E Japan's first approved crypto, guys. So uh, let me show you. This platform, the official Jasmi account, first legal and compliant digital currency in Japan. So this is what they boast about, guys. Jasmi uh, X executives venture company includes many key personnel from Sony business combining Internet of Things and blockchain, pioneering the field in Japan, actively promoting businesses such as RWA and STO products related to Jasmi data, assetization and participation in Jasmi mainnet. So basically, data is going to be tokenized by their platform. So what can we expect from just me in terms of price action guys i saw this uh, article i mean you guys can uh, uh, agree or disagree with it hit the comment box below because it it is it has been a bit over ambitious as well but what do you guys think the current just me crypto price dollar 0.0045 just me quant price prediction 2025 dollar 0.0153 I think it might go up a bit from uh, this price prediction, but this is overly ambitious. If this is achieved, I mean, this is going to be huge. It's going to be printing a lot of millionaires as well from these current prices. But the market cap is would be a whopping uh, three trillion. I think I calculated. You guys can calculate it as well. But uh, it is a bit over ambitious. But it, it does, if it does, the community has been telling me that five dollars can be achieved so i do not know uh, in terms of market cap that is that would uh, take just me to one of the be best performing assets in the market and one of the best coins guys so do you think it is possible uh, is japan just me truly the bitcoin of japan and reciprocate japan in terms of oh, sorry reciprocate and replicate the bitcoin in terms of price action as well Check this out. If it does, it's going to be giving you uh, seven, almost one, 123,000 percent returns. Dollar 5.28, dollar 3.25 plus 75,710 percent return. So according to this article, I do not know if this is possible because <laughs> up till 2050 he has written that it's going to be dollar 26.73. I mean 623,000. I mean let's that is extremely over ambitious, but they're calling this the Bitcoin of Japan. So who knows? Anyways, from these points, guys, it might be a safe bet for short term gains as well, in my opinion, because uh, it is extremely undervalued and the momentum of and Internet of Things narrative is yet to hit. So I think it might be a safe investment, but uh, you guys can do your own due diligence, your own research and only invest you can what you can afford to lose, guys, and stay safe, guys, stay safe. Crypto is extremely volatile. So I hope you like this video, guys, because I really enjoyed making it. If you did, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you're interested in any of these other coins as well, make sure to hit the notification bell and subscribe as well for regular videos. And guys, I also think that, uh, what do you think? Does Jasmine deserve a place in the groups that we discuss regularly, the discussions we do? If you do, it, uh, do think it deserves a place, uh, hit the comment box below as well. So like so so guys until next time stay blessed and stay tuned thank you very much everyone